Hi everyone, I am Jan Pinimisidor, ICA student from LPU Davao. And you're watching Chef's Flavorful Story. For anything else, I would like to greet all my co-student chefs and all the chefs around the world. A happy World Chefs Day! Um, today is very exciting because we will make a dish that is in line with this year's theme, a healthy food for the future. So we decided that we will make some longanisa. If we heard about longanisa, we referred it as a processed cured and sweet meat, usually made of pork meat, chicken, beef, or anything that is meat. But today, we will make different because we will make a skinless vegan longanisa. This skinless vegan longanisa is a perfect addition to our uh, everyday healthy meal plan. So, shall we start? We will start. Our first ingredient is the taro root. Um, it is locally available here in the Philippines and we Filipinos love to use this for cooking and for our snacks. Um, taro root is a good source of good carbohydrates and fiber which is both good for our digestive system and um, it will also help us achieve a healthy weight loss. So we'll just put it here. Actually, the dish is very simple. We will just mix everything in this large bowl. And next, sweet potato. Um, sweet potato also is rich in fiber and carbohydrates, good carbohydrates. You may also use potato if you want, but I decided to use sweet potato instead of the regular potato because uh, I am a huge fan of the natural sweet taste of sweet potato. So I'll just put it here. Our next ingredient is shiitake mushroom. Um, actually, all of these are boiled and mushed. Shiitake mushrooms. This is a good mushroom because it has a very rich savory flavor. And also, this is very good to our body because shiitake mushroom may help fight cancer and may help boost our immune system. We have here some heart of the banana or we locally call it puso ng saging. This is rich in fiber as well, potassium of course. So we will just add it here. Next is ground tofu or curled bean. This is very rich in potassium, very rich in um, protein and this plant-based food is a good source of calcium and iron and zinc as well. Next one, um, we will add the garlic, a good amount of garlic and every one of us know that garlic has antioxidants and has lots of vitamins and minerals. So it's very important and we Filipinos, majority of us love garlic or garlicky food. Next one, we will put this cornstarch here. This will act as our binder together with the breadcrumbs. For our seasoning, we will add um, one teaspoon of black pepper and salt. 
to add some heat, we will put some red paprika, but you may also use some smoked paprika if you have. If you will use smoked paprika, it will enhance the flavor as well, but um, regular red paprika will do its job. Brown sugar. Soy sauce for the flavor and color. And lastly, the atuete oil. Before we dig in, make sure that you use hand gloves for sanitation purposes. So we will just mix everything here using our hands. Make sure that everything is well combined. So this dish is very simple. Very simple yet very healthy. Very versatile. It's meat free, uh, dairy free, low fat. And of course everything here is made of plant-based ingredients are made of plant-based ingredients. So it should look like this before we put this on a wrapper. So now I will show you how to individually wrap and shape our vegan sausage. So we have a clear cling wrap here. We will put this mixture, a portion only, then We'll shape it and roll it up like this. Very easy and very simple. You may use this for business or you may keep this, eat on another day or by next week you may keep or store it for at least three to four weeks, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. So that's it. This is our finished product and we will fry it later. So now we will try and cook our vegan sausage. Um, for moms out there or for everyone who loves to cook, you may serve this dish with your loved ones. I am pretty sure that everyone will love this because it's healthy. Again, it's meat-free. You will eat this without any drop of guilt. So it's quite very good. Make sure that our pan is hot. So I guess it's... So we will add now the oil. I'll put now the sausage here. Make sure that you're cooking it on a medium-low heat fire. If you want to sell products like this, like vegan sausage, like what we have here, um, I guess you may sell it low price, like um, if you you will going to coast this down, you may have it like 50 pesos per pack. That would be like 10 pe pesos each. So we'll just wait until the first side is golden brown. So we're done. Uh, we have here perfectly cooked vegan sausage. And we will serve this and plate. Of course, um, with the help of Miss Jeroma. So plating is just an option. You may eat this with plain rice or if you want to be extra, you may plate it just to be presentable. So here's Miss Jeroma. So again, this dish is very simple. It's very versatile and very nutritious. Uh, you should try this at your, your own home and you may serve this with a cup of fried rice or our favorite pandisal. So we have here some lettuce for garnish. We have also some sauteed tomatoes and onions. Um, as you can see, um, we're serving our dish with plant-based food because we want to eat healthy and clean because you are what you eat. We have here some beans and carrots, buttered beans and carrots. So this is now our finished product. So again, this dish is very simple, very cheap, yet very delicious. This dish is good for everyone, kid-friendly. Um, I know everyone will enjoy this. You may try this at home. Learn different, live different. Oh,
Happy International Chef's Day from LPU Davao International Culinary Institute. Healthy food for the future.